Welcome back to Magic Tarot. This is Jasmine coming to you with a reading for the zodiac sign of Gemini for April 17th through the 30th, 2019. I've already pre shuffled the cards and I have three cards here waiting for you. The first card is the Empress in the reverse. The second card is the Three of Wands in the upright position. And the third card is the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so on the first card, uh, when the Empress is in the reverse, it usually means that there's an inadequate low uh, income, uh, low resources coming in. Maybe there was a loss in the family. Um, lack of uh, understanding between two family members. Um, the lesson that this card is trying to tell you is pay more attention to your home, what's going on inside of it. Usually when it's in the upright position, that means abundance, fertility. It could mean there's a, there's a child being born or something like that. But since, since it's in the reverse, there could be a loss. Maybe someone had a miscarriage or you lost a child or a family member. But if in any event, there was a loss here, okay? So it's sitting next to, and this represents, um, Empress represents Earth, and Earth um, represents, I'm sorry, Earth represents Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, okay? And it's sitting next to the wand, the three of wands. Now, this man is standing on a hill. He's accomplished. He's got two wands behind him for the stuff that he's already worked on, already built, and he's holding one wand. He's looking out at his ships as they're coming in, full of stock or whatever it is that he sent out for. Um, kind of like he's waiting and looking, but it also means uh, that maybe help is coming. He's waiting on that help to come. Um, prosperity, the hard work that he put in is starting to pay off. You know, um, this loss here is in the passing because this is the past position. And now the fruits of his labor are starting to come in. So he's waiting on that. And when the Three of Cups comes up, it, it means that you're being offered help. Um, you're doing good in business, maybe education. Everyone involved wants to either help you out or support you or support your efforts. Success is not too far away when you get this card. And um, you have, it's good to have that kind of backup. So this is a love reading for Gemini. So I'm guessing that maybe this person you were involved in kind of maybe spent your money or wasn't helping you out or y'all suffered some type of loss. Like I said, it could be a loss of a child or a family member, or maybe you lost your crops if you're a farmer or lost your home or something like that. But help is on its way. So help is on its way, and you want to get to this foundation here. The Nine of Pentacles, she's standing in the middle of her garden. She's got all the pentacles surrounding her. This card means stable fi finances, okay? You've reached the stable finances. You're where you want to be. So you're moving towards that gold. So when you get this card here, this is the future card because there's past, present, and future. When you get this card, it means that you're moving towards that gold. See how there's a bird on her hand? Birds always bring in a message. And the message here is that you're heading towards financial um, prosperity. So whatever it is that you lost is coming in, and it's coming in double, and you're getting help, you know, with that. Maybe you filed a claim for insurance because you lost something, and that insurance claim is coming in, and it's going to pay off. Or, you know, someone's helping you with your crops, and um, you're going to get, you know, paid off for that. Uh, maybe you're getting a new job, and it's going to show that you're going to make stable finances from that. But whatever it is that you're looking towards working on, you're going to get stable finances from that. So keep working towards that gold. This is a reading for the zodiac sign of Gemini from the 17th through the 30th. And um, it actually looks pretty good. So 
whoever you are involved with, I don't know if you're involved with them anymore. I don't know if you let them go or not. But it seems like you're pushing past that. You're moving forward. You still have the strength and stamina to keep going forward. And you're going to head to this right here is where you're going to end up with the stable finances. So that is your message for this, from the 17th through the 30th. Keep working hard. When you wake up in the morning, make your affirmations. Uh, tell yourself you're abundant. Uh, good things are coming. Write it down on paper because I firmly believe in speaking things into existence. And that's what we all need to do. Write down what you want to happen in detail and speak it out loud to the universe so the universe can bring that to you. Okay? So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see you on the next reading. Bye-bye.